the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Ghana against Mali. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Spoon forward. Looking to shoot! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Aimed long and direct. Brings it forward, tries a through ball, now the pass. Ghana, so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Gets good distance on it. Pressure stays on, it is a corner. Tries to get it forward quickly. Place it into the channel. And that should be the keepers. Looks to slip it through. It's in! And Mali score first! With time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Looks like a good ball through. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Goes wide. Passes it through. Big chance! Danger averted for now. Lobs it in gently. It's a loose ball. And we hit half-time. Hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. And the action is back on the way. Ghana need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Forward. What does he try from here? Forward it goes. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Oh, they could break here. Looks like a good ball through.
What a throw in. Tries to stroke it through. Away from immediate danger. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Can he finish? Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions and sometimes they just make the wrong one and I think he would have been better placing that. Plays it out to the wing. Now, can he capitalise? Promising move that, good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary, uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Ghana have escaped via some do-or-die defending. Look, as a former defender, I can only applaud what was a, a tremendous challenge, not only because of its importance in stopping the attack, but for its timing and the determination in getting there. Now surely! And that could come back to haunt them. Yeah, as chances go, that was as good as it gets, and it could well have got them back on level terms. Gets it back. It's a throw. his foot in there it's a forceful run down the oh, that's surely a foul free kick well he pushed his look to the very limit and the refs just lost patience with him is one in great leap great early ball same can't be said for the finish well if only the caliber of the finish was as high as the the caliber of the supply i mean that was a beautifully played cross and really should have seen something better on the end of it Four extra minutes added on. There will be a throw in. Pumps it upfield. And there goes the final whistle. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are.